Hey everybody, it is me, Graphite Central here, and today we'll be sh I'll be showing you how you um, make those Adobe style icons, such as this one right here, without using Photoshop, uh, Paint.net, who cares, Paint, Microsoft Paint, even yeah. So, first, what you're going to have to do is go on to my channel, and there will be a website tab there. So you go on there. Uh, yeah, there we go. Now, if you go onto the downloads page, there is a YouTube background pack and an Adobe icon pack. As you should know, you download the Adobe icon pack. And then you download it, press the download now button, and then you'll be led to mm, the make a upload page. Let me just speed it up just so you believe me. Okay, so um, now you can just do the regular download, as you should know that. It's not like it's like your first time coming on here. And then if it... Mm, yeah, there. Now I'm going to save it to my... to my other stuff, so... I'm going to save it. I'm going to use yes, I'm going to replace it. And then download it. Now, after you have done that, as you can see, mine is right here. And if you do this, there will be Adobe Icons GC page right there. You should have it. And then you go onto it. Oops, it right in. Now, this is what you'll get. You'll get uh, templates. Um, the YouTube icon size is 88 by 88 pixels. As you can see, if you hover on them, there it says 88 by 88. These are really small files, so you can save them well. And yeah, so don't go onto the main project as it says right there. You have to stick with the colors because the main project is actually a PSD file. Now, the yellow, red, purple, I've chosen the most used colors, so yeah. Now, if you open one up, I'm just going to open light blue up, you have the nice gradient overlay. Now, you can add the text using, as you can see, there are capitals and lower cases. You just go on there. If you want to get rid of the black lines, you just have to do them manually and just, you know, choose white over pixels and press the right button and drag over them. It's pretty simple. And then, yeah, you'll get something like mine right here, and it is very, you, I don't know, not unique, but it is more stylish, simple enough for people to come to your page. So yeah, icons are the things that people see first, and they would like to go to your page. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and bye.